Roger, can you explain to me what the effects of meditation have had on you and your life? Through meditation, my whole life changed. So, first of all, I was just somebody, a me, doing something in this world. I felt a huge separation. I was doing everything according to how I wanted it, planned it. And through meditation, you really start to see or observe what the real or reality is. So first you think, okay, this is my body, this is me. I'm presenting Roger here on the moment. And through the process of meditation, you go deeper and deeper. And that is not so clear anymore. This body is there, but that's not me. And that's the same with your thoughts, your emotions and all those things. They happen to you, but it's not what you are. So once you really touch base with your true essence, you're not caught up in your emotions anymore. And silence is your true nature. So then just being wherever you are is home. So for example, now in this beautiful natural environment, I can just be there. That's for me normal. I don't have to do any effort. It's just always open. I'm not closed off into thinking or whatever, or need to do something. It's just open. But the same is when I'm in the city or when I'm in a conversation with people. There is not this world going on anymore that needs to predict or have a future or whatever. It's just spontaneous. So the other thing I really am interested to know, Roger, is, you know, um, teachers often talk about the stillness. And, but in, in my body, when I sit with you, it's, it's quite energetic. And, and you speak a lot about the energy in you and how alive that feels. Yeah. So tell me, is it the mind that is still or do you feel the stillness in your body as well? Um, it, it's the mind is still and especially through the um, energy it's almost pushed away yeah. okay. so that's the stillness the, the mental chattering stops mm -hmm. the body becomes really alive and especially in the beginning when you um, start to meditate you start to feel the energy and it's a bit shocking because it's almost not you can't contain it in this body it's yeah. too much you know, the force is on, that's how it feels. Mm. But the more um, you let that current do what it needs to do, mm. that life force, I would say, mm. it's almost cancelling out all the resistance. So it's mainly the resistance that gives that hard feeling in your body or that can't hold it anymore. Mm -hmm. So now I, I felt really that it was... Um, the frequency of it came higher, higher and higher, almost that there is no movement anymore, but just like a really high tone. Right. So that's the stillness of the body as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's like you become as solid as, as a stone, mm -hmm. but really alive as a river. That's a bit how it is. So, and I, I feel that's, what you need to do if you really want to find freedom. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tr do it through meditation or whatever practice, but I feel you have to make it your main focus, your main priority. Mm -hmm. And that of course has deep effects on friends, family and work. Mm -hmm. But having said that, it doesn't have to be negatively. In my, Of course you get your struggles because people really are most of them fearful for change mm -hmm. and they see you changing mm -hmm. quite substantially. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, people accept everything. Mm -hmm. So once they see you really doing it from the heart, mm -hmm. uh, they give in and they let you do it. Mm -hmm. Be aware. Don't carry all that mental uh, stuff with you. Yeah. You can't do it one time and not the other time. Yeah. If you want to stop, and that's actually the only word, stop, then you have to stop fully. Yeah. So the whole thing about meditation is to find a posture in which you can sit for a long time without any effort. So in the beginning, it comes with pain, and it's almost like the body has to become flexible to sit in this position again. 
But the good thing about sitting on the floor is actually you're much more grounded. You're just much more in contact with your body. You just feel your body touching the floor. Your body is more compressed, so it all feels more alive. Meditation is bringing all your awareness back into your body. And the best place to do that is right here by the breath, deep down in the abdomen. So I remember on one retreat once you said to us, um, the wind is in me. Yeah. Could you describe that a little bit more for people? Um, well, the wind is just a word, but it's more life is in me. So what is happening out there is happening in me, in and out. That separation is gone. And that's what everybody is after. That's the longing. The, the pain is me and you. Seeing that as me and this world, me. And it's only fear that keeps you away from it. There's not something that um, separates me. There is no me or dog or whatever, you know? There is not that commenting on it. It's just a flow, a flow of whatever is happening. Yeah.